Cyber warfare, what is that? In this video, we explore the concept of cyber warfare, how nations are preparing for and engaging in digital battles, and discuss real-life incidents like the Stuxnet attack and other state-sponsored cyber attacks. Welcome to our deep dive into the modern battlefield of cyber warfare. In today's digital age, conflicts are no longer confined to physical borders. They extend into the virtual realm, where nations engage in covert battles that can have real-world consequences. Cyber warfare is now considered one of the most significant threats to national security, with the potential to disrupt economies, compromise critical infrastructure, and undermine democratic processes. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer understanding of the strategies, technologies, and actors that shape this modern battlefield. Cyber warfare refers to the use of digital attacks by one nation to disrupt, disable, or damage the computer systems of another, often targeting critical infrastructure like power grids, financial institutions, and communication networks. Unlike traditional warfare, cyber warfare is characterized by its stealth, speed, and deniability. Attackers can strike from anywhere in the world, often without leaving a trace. The goals of cyber warfare can vary, from espionage and stealing sensitive information to causing widespread disruption and chaos. These attacks can cripple a nation's economy, disrupt essential services, and undermine public trust in government institutions. One of the key features of cyber warfare is its asymmetrical nature. Smaller nations and non-state actors can engage in cyber warfare against much larger and more powerful adversaries. This levels the playing field allowing them to inflict significant damage without the need for large-scale military operations. To understand the impact of cyber warfare, let's look at some real-life incidents that have made headlines around the world. The Stuxnet worm, discovered in 2010, is one of the most sophisticated cyber weapons ever deployed. It targeted Iran's nuclear facilities, specifically the Natanz uranium enrichment plant. Stuxnet was designed to cause physical damage to the centrifuges used in the enrichment process, setting back Iran's nuclear ambitions. The attack is widely believed to have been orchestrated by the United States and Israel, highlighting the potential of cyber warfare to achieve strategic objectives without conventional military force. In 2017, the NotPetya malware attack caused widespread disruption across the globe. Initially targeting Ukrainian infrastructure, the malware quickly spread to multinational companies, causing billions of dollars in damage. NotPetya was a wiper disguised as ransomware, designed to destroy data rather than extort money. The attack is attributed to Russian state-sponsored hackers, demonstrating how cyber warfare can be used to destabilize a nation's economy and create chaos. In 2014, Sony Pictures Entertainment was targeted by a massive cyber attack that resulted in the theft and release of sensitive data, including unreleased films and employee information. The attack was attributed to North Korean hackers in retaliation for the film The Interview, which depicted the assassination of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. This incident highlights how cyber warfare can be used for political purposes and to retaliate against perceived threats. Many nations have developed sophisticated cyber warfare capabilities, employing state-sponsored hackers to carry out attacks that further their strategic interests. Let's take a closer look at some of the main players in this digital battlefield. The U.S. has one of the most advanced cyber warfare programs in the world. Agencies like the National Security Agency, NSA, and U.S. Cyber Command conduct offensive and defensive cyber operations to protect national interests and counter foreign threats. The U.S. has been involved in numerous cyber operations, including the Stuxnet attack and efforts to counter Russian interference in elections. Russia is notorious for its cyber warfare activities, often aimed at destabilizing other nations. Russian state-sponsored hackers have been linked to high-profile attacks, such as the NotPetya malware, and interference in the 2016 U.S. presidential election. Russia uses cyber warfare as a tool to achieve geopolitical goals and undermine its adversaries. China's cyber warfare capabilities focus heavily on cyber espionage and intellectual property theft. Chinese hackers have targeted a wide range of industries, from defense contractors to technology companies, to gain economic and strategic advantages. The Chinese government has been accused of orchestrating large-scale cyber espionage campaigns against numerous countries. Despite its limited resources, North Korea has developed a formidable cyber warfare capability. The country has been implicated in several high-profile attacks, such as the Sony Pictures hack and the WannaCry ransomware attack. 
North Korean hackers are known for their aggressive and unpredictable tactics, often targeting financial institutions to generate revenue for the regime. As cyber warfare becomes an increasingly significant threat, nations are investing heavily in cybersecurity measures to protect their critical infrastructure and national security. Here are some key strategies and technologies being used to defend against cyber attacks. Nations are deploying advanced threat detection systems that use artificial intelligence and machine learning to identify and respond to cyber threats in real time. These systems can analyze vast amounts of data, detect anomalies, and automate responses to mitigate the impact of attacks. Ensuring that employees practice good cyber hygiene is essential for preventing cyber attacks. Regular training on recognizing phishing attempts, using strong passwords, and reporting suspicious activities can significantly reduce the risk of successful attacks. Collaboration between governments, private sector organizations, and international partners is key to combating cyber warfare. Sharing threat intelligence and best practices can help build a collective defense against common adversaries. Continuous investment in cybersecurity research and development is necessary to stay ahead of emerging threats. This includes exploring new technologies such as quantum cryptography and AI-driven security solutions, and developing innovative defense mechanisms. Having a robust incident response plan in place is vital for minimizing the impact of cyber attacks. This plan should outline procedures for identifying, containing, and recovering from incidents, as well as communication strategies for informing stakeholders and the public. In this video, we've explored the modern battlefield of cyber warfare, understanding its definition, key players, real-life incidents, and defense strategies. Cyber warfare represents a significant and evolving threat to national security, requiring constant vigilance and innovation to counteract. We've discussed how nations like the United States, Russia, China, and North Korea engage in state-sponsored cyber attacks to further their strategic interests. These attacks can range from espionage and intellectual property theft to causing widespread disruption and chaos. To defend against cyber warfare, nations must invest in advanced threat detection, practice good cyber hygiene, have robust incident response plans collaborate with other entities and invest in research and development. By taking a proactive and comprehensive approach, we can better protect ourselves and our digital infrastructure. Thank you for watching this in-depth exploration of cyber warfare. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to our channel for more content on cybersecurity and digital safety. Don't forget to like this video and share it with others who might find it helpful. Share your thoughts and experiences with cybersecurity in the comments below.